next step would be to take the shifting and then the rideability, the load carrying capability, and put them together. So, okay. there's, a, there's a lot of 3D printed parts in here. We're seeing sensors are starting to move, and it has to be aligned pretty well yeah. to shift really seamlessly. Um, but this, you know, we're, we're learning a lot also. Unfortunately, it's at the show. We were supposed to have the rideability, and I keep going up there, here, my contacts there, and so are the drum. That's the ride of the bike. We're supposed to have rideable and shiftable yeah. um, here for Eurobike, and we're about eight weeks behind. So we got rideability done, we got shiftability done, and the next step would be yeah. So we're removing a chain. Yep. We're removing a, a big wide cassette and removing the rear derailleur, and then we replace it with a shaft filled with electronics. So the shaft and the rear derailleur are very similar. You have electronics, batteries, actually. So that's kind of a wash, but the weight savings are from removing the chain and then the wide cassette. This is essentially a single point cassette. Okay, so twice less. How many years did you make? Um, this is 13 right now, but it's not limited to 13. Yeah. Put more on. Um, and then the bike you guys see over there, despite the S Works Vans, we collaborated with Specialized on that, so we took it to the wind time. So it's 3% more aero efficient. So we've got um, a 99.2% mechanical efficiency, plus the aero savings, plus the weight, and you see the cover over there? We can also put a cover on this yeah. now. I have a question. Yeah. And, and everything can be contaminant free, sealed, um, and you just don't have to worry about that stuff anymore like you do with a traditional tractor. There's a lot of advantages to this system. Disadvantage? It's not there yet. You know, we, we don't know about longevity, and, we're using aluminum on everything, which is relatively soft, so uh, we just need more time to, to get it. So during a shift, this moves over to the next gear channel, and then the torque decoupler activates, and then it continues around, and then this side is over here now, and it shifts over.